Hey! In this video we are gonna build a tiny barn from scratch. But first, there's something we need to do. Because in the last video we asked you guys to guess what we were building. And we had gotten so many great guesses. Greenhouse, chicken, coop. <laughs> Lots of great guesses. And the first woman to guess right was Elizabeth. So we are gonna write her name inside the barn. Where to put it, Annie? You mentioned uh, up here. Mm -hmm. Will you do the honors? Yeah. <laughs> right up here. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> now let's rewind back when this was just trees. <laughs> I thought I would uh, move this little pine tree but the rest of these trees they plant themselves and <laughs> they grow all over the place so they're gonna have to go for this next room project to take place oh my God. let's buckle up Det er over i vandet, men det her det falder. I am amazed over how much my man can do in a day. It's 10.30 in the morning, forenoon, and we're here. My plan this week was kind of to take it slow. If we just get the screws in the ground this week, then when we come back next month, we can start building the, the barn, the shed. <laughs> And now it's it's almost up there. He's he's already talking about the roof. <laughs> so I'm gonna make him some tea. We have had a lot of these bowls. Last summer we ate a lot of bread, like that was easy food. And that has been our go-to when we have work weeks like this one. But we don't eat bread anymore. We just got a lot of vegetables and 
I found this really easy method. Method, method. Um, salad. <laughs> it's basically three things and then you can vary it in a thousand ways. Some filling, I have been using quinoa, like just boiling a whole bag and you have for a few days. And then some protein and vegetables. Yeah, and in this one I put some sauce in, like some cream. I don't know why I haven't thought of this before, it totally becomes a habit. So every time lunch, easy. There we go. Is that a mask? So, how would you like to come on a guided tour in our new tiny barn or shed? We haven't really figured out what to call it yet. This is probably where we enter. And now we are underneath the roof here, but still outside because here is going to be a little terrace that I am currently building here. Maybe a door somewhere around here. We're inside the barn. And all of this is gonna be for materials and tools and a little workstation. Yeah, everything that we have in our old shed up there. Just much more organized and clean and nice. And then on this side, there is gonna be a roof going further out where we can have our ATV and a trailer. I just started taking a course on investing and it starts out talking about like all the, <laughs> the differences between men and women, how men are, yeah, how there's not equality in any country in the world and all of the points and all of the facts about that. And it's funny because yesterday I was recording for the last video that we put out why it's good that there's a difference in masculine and feminine energy and men and women and how that affects our relationship and this is in a way kind of saying the opposite <laughs> because of course we are economically we need to be equal <laughs> it's not the same thing mm. this is so exciting Så hvis uheldet er ude og aktiemarkedet pludselig dykker, så er du aldrig tvunget til at sælge dine investeringer. We have kind of run out of materials to build more and it's it's too late to go into town and buy more and we actually really want to reuse the materials from the old shed. But when we start doing that, we need to get all of the things out and store them somewhere. So it's kind of a puzzle right now. So we decided for tonight to just do some of the easy work, screw these planks on and maybe start laying some floor. And then we will start a fresh day tomorrow. Party time. Party time. 
Så du kan vinde du der. Der. Mm. Oh, der eller der. I can't think of anything I would rather do right now. It's actually past our bedtime now. I'm gonna go see if Julian can be persuaded to come and have some dinner. Looking good, honey. Thanks, honey. This board and dinner. It's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Oh. <laughs> Works in six. Fourteen hours. These are all of the rest uh, leftovers from building the, the terrace. By the house so that's pretty cool that, that we got to use this many leftovers but there wasn't enough so <laughs> we're gonna have to find some solution over here we can't buy these anymore so yeah creative mode tomorrow Another day working since morning and now the stores are open so we're going to town to buy roof plates. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. beautiful mist this morning. Julian was out with the drone while I was making breakfast and learning about stocks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Today it's moving day. The next step is to take the roof plates from the shed to put it over on the barn. And that means that everything inside the shed needs to be moved. But first, I would like to show you why we're building this. So this is a mess. When you have a mess in one building, you make another one. Simple, right? <laughs> no, really, this shed has always been temporary. We grew kind of fond of it in the beginning and like joked about keeping it, I think. It was temporary to store the materials to keep them dry. But we always knew that once we really moved in here and started building a home here, we would build something else, somewhere else. Because this is also the best sunspot. Yeah, this is our mess, our biggest mess right now. We even have a bird that moved in. That's also why we never built doors for this and just kept this hideous plastic. <laughs> so that was the front of it and this is the back that we built later on. Also a mess. I wouldn't say we're messy people, but since we like really decided that building a barn would be our one of our next moves, we knew that we just weren't motivated to clean up in there and use like a whole day to organize it. <laughs> so it just got worse and worse and worse. But now it's coming to an end when we move in here. The patio is almost completely done. The floor is completely done. And we're going to be putting up walls here. So, so beautiful here. Look at this. The roof is up. I think it is time to celebrate. Woo! collecting boards for the tiny barn and we're currently at our other barn and this is why we call it a tiny barn because the size of this is <laughs> well the normal size I guess these boards are the old boards from the house up there that Julian renovated years back even the carpenter then said you need to keep these boards because they are so valuable this is old wood and it can last so many years and we could just go out here and, and get them and at the same time we are cleaning this barn which will be the venue for our wedding <laughs>
are pretty tired now but we got we got walls on two of the sides and the roof is on the top is on the roof and two full trailers are taken from the shed to the barn so yeah we still need to remove some of the last things and Julian's gonna do that slowly while I cook some dinner and then I guess we're gonna doze off into bed <laughs> it's been a good day oh and I also moved the bird's nest I really hope that it will find it there were five eggs in it so I really really hope that the bird will find the new location and take care of the eggs uh, it's just over in that tree I put it in a bucket so the rain won't hit and yeah I just really hope it will go well because we had to move the shelves to to put the things that we yeah there was not so much to do so if we had known that we had a tenant we could have given two weeks notice in the mail or something but well nature After dinner we realized that there are still two hours until our normal bedtime <laughs> so we were like okay what what are we gonna do <laughs> I moved the TV screen from our bed to the other side of the room so we have like a, a TV room now but it's not finished so normally we would probably just watch a movie in bed <laughs> but now we were like we could do anything <laughs> because we were not that tired but we were finished working I decided to bake a cake, or actually two because they're so tiny. We had a nice little talk about our dreams for the summer, like what the dream day would look like, because this summer is going to be so much different. Last summer was all about building and stressing and like getting roof over the head and floors on underneath our feet and it was just chaos. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you. So if you feel like you're losing your evening time, try turning your TV around and see how much time you get. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday, which means that we leave tomorrow. This is our last day working. That's why we have been kind of in a rush building this barn. We have been taking breaks and taking care of ourselves, had some good food and all. Um, but we have been, especially Julian has just been poof, working on that barn because we need to close off the sides today. Put in the door because tomorrow we leave and we're not going to be back for another month. Today we need to finish. <laughs> Somehow it's also a little bit sad because I remember putting this up and this has been my outdoor kitchen, our shower and for the last month it's been our firewood shed <laughs> and now it's gonna be something else.
let's cut some boards. How do you like my super cool glasses? It feels so good to reuse these boards. Most of them are a bit destroyed in the ends and it fits perfectly because that's the end that I'm gonna cut off. So it's just really satisfying. Hold your ears. We are so close now and we're also so tired now and like dirty, <laughs> like the dust everywhere. <sighs> so we're talking about like finishing up, putting the last boards up and then taking a bath in the lake and then getting back and there are tons of stuff to do, like the inverter and everything connected to the solar panels still needs to come down here. Uh, lots of cables and lots of like finishing touches. Not decorative, but practical, needed touches. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna make it. Of course, we're gonna make it. Gonna go to. Tack. Can I set it up the top? We got the last boards and a really nice bath. So now we're gonna finish on the outside at least. <laughs> and then the inside is a whole other story. <laughs> So for the record, we're off grid, so we're only going on solar power. Yeah, so... 100%. It's been a lot of sun today. Yeah. Yep, yep. Done, honey? Yes. So we decided to call it a barn, not... A tiny barn. A tiny barn, yes. <laughs> Even though this is more of a homestead than a farmstead. And we didn't build this for crops or animals. 
but since you started calling it a barn because I think you are comparing it to the old barn at the other cottage. Mm. And this is like a tiny version of that with yeah. the, like the tools and the workshop and storage and we could have animals here, I guess. <laughs> But it's definitely something else than our old shed out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's exactly like I imagine it should be. Yeah. So. Congratulations, yeah. honey. Yeah. We did it! We did it. Four, <laughs> four days. So. Has it been four days? Yeah. I lost count. <laughs> I am very impressed. Yeah. <laughs> and next time it will be organizing. Hmm. Next time we come here, and videos will be about all sorts of stuff. Let us know if there's something in particular you would like to know more about. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. <laughs> Bye. Bye.